before I started actually filming, this happened, so yeah. Sorry you had to see that, now for the actual video. Hello, it is Sunday, May 10th, which means it's Mother's Day, so I'm gonna make donut holes. Yeah. I used this recipe by Emma's Goodies that was super quick and easy, link in description. Technically her recipe calls for a cup of self-rising flour, but she said it could be substituted for one cup of normal flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda, which is what I did. And then I just whisked that together until it was all nice and combined. Okay, it says I need 6.5 ounces and... 6.5 ounces and half a teaspoon of plain yogurt. And this is, what, 24 ounces. So that means I need one-fourth of it, approximately. So I'm gonna try and section that off with like a spoon or something. I'm not sure if this is totally accurate, but you know, yeah, I'm guessing this is about as good as it's gonna get and I'm gonna mix these two together now. Ugh, not pleasant. In the video, she uses like a spatula and folds it together. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and hopefully this turns out okay. So this is how it looks and it's so pretty flowery so I'm gonna keep mixing it together but then if it doesn't get to like the stickyish dough consistency that she has I'm gonna add a bit more yogurt okay I think I got to the consistency that she had it's like sticky so like if I oh, oh my god how do I do this <laughs> okay I'm not a lefty <laughs> it's, it's like it's sticky that's, that's all I'm trying to show. So I think that we're good to start the frying. Yeah. Almost forgot I had to do something before frying. I used to not think I had piping bags, but I found this in my drawer like a month ago. And I just, I, I thought I, for, I forgot about it. When I went to check what I could use, this was it. So I got my tips, which is like what she used. I got my piping bags. I'm all good. I'm actually doing this like the normal way. Normally I have to, I and mean, I did substitute one of the ingredients, but I'm doing it the normal way for once. Maybe I should use scissors, right? That makes more sense. Yeah, my brother dyed his hair over quarantine, so it was like orange the first time because he was going for blonde, but he's brown haired, you know? So then he, we dyed it again like a few days later, and now it's like blonde with orange shoes. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, how do you do, I think... I'm not entirely sure how to do this actually, you know, that's probably a bad thing. I'm gonna use the circular tip because that seems about right. I think you put it in the bag first. Don't worry, my hands are clean, I just washed them. I think you put it in the bag, right? And then once it's all nice in the bag, cut off the tip. But I shouldn't cut off the tip yet, right? Because I'm putting the dough, I'm gonna put the dough in and then I'll cut off the tip. That way I don't have any of the dough spill out. Look how smart I'm being today. Like, normally I'm making really dumb decisions, and I think that's because the most often- You good? The most often times I bake are like, whatchamacall, super late at night, so I'm not thinking properly, which leads to bad decisions and messing up the baking. So, I think today, since I'm baking at like a normal hour, which is like one in the afternoon. God, I can't get this out. How do I? 
Since I'm baking at a considered normal hour, I actually can't get this out though. This dough is so sticky. It's like, it's like, it's like an arm workout. I'm like trying to pick it up and I really can't. Oh, look at that. Skill. You know, since I'm also filming in the middle of the day, my whole family's awake, which is normally the reason why I film so late at night. Mostly because inspiration strikes me at night, but yeah, um, my family's awake in the day, so there's more interruptions because quarantine, no, everyone's home, you know? So right now I think my mom's getting a pedicure by my brother for Mother's Day. My mom's fiance, I don't know. Exactly. I really don't know what I'm doing with this piping bag. This is like super hard to work with. Oh my god. What is this? Can I can I pipe it down? Oh my god, I can squish it. I can squish it down, right? Does that work? Can I do that? Skipping past me, struggling to squeeze down the piping bag. I figured it out, right? Every time I was squeezing it down, it would go up into the air at the top. So I tried to twist the top, which helped a little bit, and I got it really close to the the top part of the metal tip. But then I was like, if it keeps going into the air, why don't I just cut the bottom like I was going to do now that I'm like this close. If I cut the bottom, it'll come, it'll like go for the air out the tip, you know? And that's what happened. So now my thingy's all set, right? See, look at that. So nice, very messy. Cause I put it back in the bowl area, which, and it's leaning on the spatula, which isn't good. But I did that, that way it wouldn't spill and I could record this. Um, there's a lot of these little speck things like right here. Like I think these shed from the top, which is like really weird. It looks weird, but you know, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know, this looks pretty good. I think I can get the frying oil ready now. It took me so long to find like a kind of stable spot to keep my phone. Like this is on top, this is on top of the spice rack. Yeah. Okay, so basically she said like a bunch of temperatures and stuff, but I don't have any way of measuring that. So she also said, if you can't measure the temperature, just make sure that when you pipe the dough in, there's little bubbles around the side of the dough. But the whole thing wasn't bubbling. So I'm not bringing it to a boil. Yeah, so I'm just gonna throw some oil in, make it hot, pipe like a little bit of dough in, see if it's bubbling on the edges, wait for it to heat up more or Heat up less, depending on like whatever's going on. Yeah. This is the pan I'm using. It's like a bowl pan thing. So I'm just gonna. That's all the oil. Do you think I should put more? I have more oil. I'll pour a little bit more oil. This is my other source of oil. I think we're good. This is about as good as I'm gonna get. I don't wanna use all the oil, you know? Cause like, I used that much, and then I used all that. So it should be good, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start heating it up. I'm just gonna leave it on like a 6.5, 5.5 thing right now and just get it to heat up a bit. And then once I think it's heated up enough, I'll start piping. Sorry for the weird lighting, I can't really close that window or whatever, but the oil has like lines in it. So I'm assuming that try piping something, right? So I'm gonna try piping. I don't really have a stable setup. That's, it's okay though, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna try piping one chunk in. Oh God. Maybe I should like, I'm just rubber banding. Test this out. Please float, please float, please float. That's the thing. She, she was like, yeah, it's not going to float originally, but it's going to float a little bit after you pipe it in. So we're going to watch that guy. Hope it floats. It floated, so now I'm going to skip to the end of piping the first batch. 
I'm gonna take a break from dropping to fix this up and also show you guys what it looks like. Okay, it looks more bubbly than I think it's supposed to be, but these guys look pretty good, right? Got my little oil thingy, and then I can toss them around. See, they're like, they're a little bit pale. I'm trying to cut off the light source so you can actually see them okay. See, they're all bubbly at the edges. I might have to turn down the heat some more, but look at them. They're turning darker golden brownish, which is good. Yeah. Okay, so they're looking pretty done, but I think my test subject one, which is that little tiny one over here, I think this one's done, done. So I'm gonna throw it in the little bowl, the bowl of stuff. Yeah, and then I'll start piping some more in after these ones finish. Look at them. I was able to make them bigger than the previous ones, which look really good, by the way. Um, they're a little bit bigger now, because I was squeezing them bigger, so I just gotta, you know, flip them around and stuff. Uh, this is the last bit, because I squeezed the back pretty dry, you know. Um, yeah, and I think they look pretty good. And afterwards, I'll coat them in sugar. Yeah. Hello. I finished frying. And they look pretty darn good. I just have to coat them in sugar now. But I really want to try one. So. Oh, shit. Forgot. I just finished frying. I legit just... Like, you can see the shine on my face from it being super hot. I had to open a window because, yeah, there's a lot of oil there, but I heard you can't put oil down the drain, like in the sink, which I don't know how we're going to get rid of that oil. Maybe save it. I don't really know. Um, yeah, so there's these little thingies, like the ones at the end that kind of got like cut off and stuff. So I'm going to try one of these. yummy. Let's get coating them in sugar. So I'm just gonna, yep, and then I'm just gonna, you know? My finished donuts, little mini donut thingies. I'll get taste test one, and then I'll give them to my family to try. It's a donut, I think. Yeah, I call it a donut. I think you can still kind of taste the yogurt, which I'm a little bit like, hmm. But overall, pretty good, considering that I only used like, what, three ingredients? Four? Because I had like, what, my baking powder, soda thing, flour, sugar that I put on coating, and yogurt. So, four ingredients. And oil. Five? You're good. Just say, do you want to try donuts? Oh, you're so awesome. Oh, they came out beautiful. Oh, do you want oh my some? gosh, yes, please. It's so, they're perfect. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they still kind of taste kind of yogurty, which I guess is expected because I used yogurt. They look like tater tots, and I love tater tots. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Get your brother, they're amazing. Hey, Weasel. Donuts. Do yeah. Donuts. Uh -huh. you, you want donuts? I remember some. Oh my god, you're so lazy. I'm gonna go drop off some donuts in Weasley's room. Okay, well. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, you guys can just... Yeah, okay, bye-bye. That's sweet, thank you.
quick note. Guess what I was doing before I sugared my donuts. Look how clean that is. Look at how full that is. Wow, that's called expertise. We're gonna ignore everything over here. Um, oh, the pound cakes from last time. So I had some of this for breakfast and it's still pretty good. Yeah, this one we're kind of ignoring. I'm gonna trust my mom how to get rid of the oil though. Yeah. Overall, I give my donuts a seven out of 10. Kind of like the pound cake. Like it's good, but I wouldn't say it's like perfect, but that's to be expected considering that they're like only a few ingredients and they're pretty easy to make. All of it to like an eight out of 10 because they are really easy to make. And I'm sorry, but the person who made these things, what's her name again? Goody something? Uh, Emma's goodies. Yeah, she's great. I'm putting the video in the description, right? So you can check it out. Um, yeah. Okay. See you next time.